Oh, all right, everyone. This right here is my 2008 Lakewood Brace Blader, as a lot of us would call it. And the term Brace Blader actually, you know, derived from me. Okay, I'm not going to mention any names here, but back in 2008, I knew of a YouTuber. And this YouTuber uh, did a comparison video of, like, you know, today's Lakewood box fan compared to a P25 box fan. And obviously, from the proof of his video, that Lakewood P25 blew a shitload of more air than, you know, the uh, 2008 brace blader that he was demonstrating at the time. And also this same YouTuber did a video of himself destroying the, you know, Lakewood brace blader that I'm fixing to show. Some of you may think after watching just a few minutes of this video that you think I'm out to, you know, troll you. No, 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 I am not out to troll you. I am not out to troll anybody or any channel whatsoever. I just want to, you know, uh, do a video of my Lakewood fan here. Here's my 2008 Lakewood Brace Blader. And, uh, actually, Holmes... Holmes makes these, you know, fans nowadays, just like this Lakewood brace blader that I'm going to demonstrate, except for uh, the Holmes fan doesn't have this handle on top of the box, like, you know, most, you know, Lasco box fans and vintage fans have a handle on top of the box, instead it has an, uh, an integrated handle right here on the back also this Lakewood fan has been stored in my attic since October of 2008 except for you know when I did videos to you know harass you know youtubers out there other than that, it's been stored in my attic for eight years and has never been used, not even once, to cool my place. Why in the hell would I want to use this Lakewood fan to cool my house when I have much better, you know, metal fans? High velocity metal fans like, you know, hanging on my wall there. I, uh, figured out how to, you know, hang that, you know, uh, higher, H-A-I-E-R fan on my living room wall. So it would be out of the way, but that fan on the wall dates from 2004. And it still runs perfect today and blows a shitload of more air than this. Let me get my camera settled here. 2008 Lakewood plastic piece of shit. And I have lots of other fans that, you know, blow more air than the, that plastic piece of shit that I'm going to demonstrate like the fan hanging on my living room wall, just like I showed you, and other big metal floor fans, and I also have metal stand fans that, um, um, a home, a few homes metal stand fans, one of them I bought from Target for $60, and another Holmes metal fan that I've owned for years and years. And I'm convinced that them 16 inch metal fans blow just every bit as much air if not more than this 2008 Lakewood piece of shit. By the way from the get go whenever I order this Lakewood online 
before I even made the videos back in 2008, I uh, automatically knew that a Lakewood Vintage Box fan would move way more air than this 2008 piece of shit Lakewood, but I just wanted to, you know, order this Lakewood online and harass some, you know, other YouTubers, which I wasn't, that wasn't right to me, and I do apologize for that, but that's the basic reason I own this 2008 fan here, was to harass other YouTubers, and as I said before, I'm not gonna troll anybody's account, I'm not gonna uh, go around YouTube saying, hey, my Lakewood Bax fan is better than your Vintage fan. When I know flat out that's bullshit. I just want to, you know, uh, simply do a video of this fan, which is part of my collection. And as you can see from this video, my, oops, I bumped my camera, but this Lakewood fan has braces around the blades and uh, the reason Lakewood puts braces on you know uh, their fans and the reason that Holmes and Kenmore does the same shit they put you know braces around their blades as well is to make you know their customers think yeah as long as we have braces around the blades that, uh, you know, uh, helps hold the blades better in place to provide, you know, more airflow. Yes, the braces help to provide more airflow than today's Lasco box fans and today's regular generic fans, but even though this fan has braces around the blades, it still does, does not provide the air quality as an actual vintage Lakewood Box fan and lots of other uh, vintage fans as well, I should mention. Let's see if this piece of shit can start after being stored in the attic for eight years. I ne as I mentioned before, I've never ever used this fan before except for to do harassing videos, and that's all I've ever used this fan for, or to do harassing videos, but this fan has been stored in my attic for eight years in the 100 degree weather, and I mean 100 degree, you know, temperature and above, maybe up to 150 degrees and such that since our attics get so hot in the summer, so let's see if this will start up. Okay, this is high. Well, I'm feeling a breeze from here. But it's just, I'm going to say this fan is a little bit more powerful than today's Lasco box fans, but. It still does not move as much air as, like, you know, a vintage box fan. No, no. It, this fan does not move as much air as a vintage box fan, but I will say that this 2008 Lakewood, you know, moves more air than what you can buy today with a box fan, except for uh, Lakewood's new all metal box fan which it does Lakewood's all metal box fan today does blow a lot of hair but air but it's way too noisy to hear the TV or anything like that if you have it around your TV and such so anyway uh, it, this fan's on high okay this is uh, medium Okay, oops, 
I had this switch and the orientation I didn't expect to be, but really this is high speed. This is medium. And this is low. Shit, I can't feel anything on low. Basically nothing at all. Maybe it's because this box fan was stored in my attic for eight years in severe hot weather. And maybe the oil's dried out of the motor by now, but who knows, but... Let me show you something else. You can tell by uh, looking at this that this fan has been at in my head for years and years. Look at all this dust. And it looks like that I have bird shit on the top of this fan. Or mouse shit or whatever, but I have, you know, shit from some kind of animal here on the top of my fan that's been in my egg for years and years. If you want to buy a good fan for today, uh, buy a Lakewood box fan. Um, from my understanding, Lakewood went out of business years ago, back in about 2010, but they've come back. Lakewood box fans have come back and uh, the current videos of Lakewood's you know box fans that I've seen you know uh, are actually made by Jard and not Lakewood but they still seem to call them you know Lakewood to you know make it seem like a better fan but Of course, this fan still has the uh, handle on top and the switch on the motor here. And uh, maybe today's Lakewood fan, box fans, would be, you know, better to buy, a better fan to buy, but they definitely do not have the airflow of a vintage box fan. Yes, they definitely do not have the airflow of a vintage box fans, and uh, I just hope to get my points across. Yes. <laughs>